Hi everybody, Susie Q here at Q Aquatics and welcome to Tuesday's Tanks. Today we're going to be taking a look at my red tail Dalmatian platys. Hi everybody, these are my platies. I love these little guys. These are my first fish that I, I started breeding. They're the red-tailed Dalmatian platies or the Xiphophorus maculatus. There's not a whole lot of difference between these uh, the, the platies. I think they're called southern platies or they some, have some other nicknames. And they're very similar to the sore tails and the variatus. I think what I read was that these fish, at least in the big chain stores and the pet stores, have been, they're really a hybrid between the Xiphophorus halari and the maculatus. They eat just about anything that I put in the tank, whether it's flakes, pellets, uh, shrimp, but I like to stick a lot, I like to stick to more of a herbivore diet. And in this tank, I have blue-eyed lemon pleco and two mystery snails. Uh, these mystery snails are a lot quicker than I, I thought. These guys are a type of apple snail, and they're huge. And I think they got this coolest little tentacle on them. It's called like a breathing siphon, and it can stretch all the way up to the top of the surface. And I believe it's for breathing. Uh, and I also know that, like, they go, I, I usually leave an inch of water on top. So in case they were going to lay eggs, there's a safe place above the water line for them to lay eggs. I have not yet been successful in breeding these, um, but I'm ready if they are. <laughs> and I think their scientific name is Pomacia, or Pomacia diffusa, Bridgesi. I'm sure I'm butchering the name, but that's okay. I'm trying to get to learn the names, so in order to learn them, I'm going to keep trying to pronounce them. <laughs> so I started recording this because one of the females is giving birth, and she's in the corner, but I can't, she's not coming out, so I thought if I just left my camera here for an hour even, I, you know, then I'd go back and watch the film to see if I captured any of it on film. But And I'm going to show, like, they go into the, Java moss over here on the right hand side. They all hide inside here and they're safe in there and they there's lots of food particles in, in, in there. Uh, also on this other side I have my Volbitis. And then floating I have some water sprite. I got some Crips, some Mondo grass, and I don't know what the stem plant is, I forget, but I have, I just keep cutting tips off of in one tank and planting it in another tank and it's doing really well. And I don't know if you can see her there. She's kind of pointing downwards. Yeah, she seems to be struggling. I can relate. <laughs> Boy, can I relate. But they seem to be very healthy, doing fine, giving birth, lots of fry. So I think I have plenty now to take to the Maya my local fish club. So I'm going to sit back and I'm going to enjoy, listen to some music and watch these guys swim around for a little bit.
Thanks everybody for checking out my Tuesday's Tanks with me today.